Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV Show, presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. For parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone, the show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in. Nice to have you aboard so far this year. Best way I can put it, Coach, is this is a lot of fun. 3-0, and oh, you can't start any better than that. Memphis goes on the road for the first time. Last three years, that's been tricky in the road opener. Not this year. Total domination against a very good South Alabama team had given Nebraska a bunch of trouble on the road. You went in there all fast. It's pretty darn good. It was, and I was really proud of our team. You know, the, the first road game, you, you try all offseason to prepare them for the moment and, you know, controlling the things that you can control, maintaining focus. And, and I thought our guys, they really prepared at a high level, especially uh, when we got down there to Mobile. And they, I could tell there was a great focus, and the guys went and played with a lot of energy. Well, it was crazy. We had a midnight fire alarm, folks walking down 10 stairs for a half an hour. That didn't bother you guys, and then you came with purpose right off the bat in this game. Well, we, we talked to guys, we have no control over the atmosphere, you know, if, there's a, if there happens to be delays. You know, we've seen a lot of uh, adversity that's shown up over the years, but our guys handled it well. Uh, you know, I wanted to see their energy. I wanted to see physicality stand out. We talked a lot uh, you know, last week. The team that could run the football and stop the run would be the one that had a chance to be successful. And I thought we did that great job by our defense. Offensively, we were able to move the ball on the ground against a very good defensive front. And then special teams once again showed up big. 300 yards on the ground. That's hard to do against a team with a front that is as good as theirs. And I believe you played 10 offensive linemen, 12 defensive linemen, at least five running backs, three quarterbacks. You got a lot of folks in. No, it was great. A, a great opportunity to evaluate our guys, to see them, you know, uh, you know, in the spotlight. Uh, it was hot out there. I mean, it was you know, a 2:30 kickoff right there in, in, in the uh, right there in the sun. Uh, it, we forced our depth a little bit. We got to see some guys go in there and, and contribute at, in, in a variety of different ways so I was really proud of what our team did and uh, a lot of things to learn from and grow from moving forward we got a lot coming up today on this Mike Norvell TV show you will see both halves the South Alabama recap you're gonna like it you'll see some domination there and then we go with Chick-fil-a inside access mid-south Chevy dealers inside access the AutoZone road ahead we've got a little time but guess who's coming to town the Navy is next but first Watch the Tigers run. It says on my paper, Chick-fil-A inside access. It said on that graphic, Mid-South Chevy dealers inside access. But we have the Mid-South Chevy dealers drive of the game. Well, we just have to go with it. And then I, then I, I, I corrected myself because of the graphic, but I know that's wrong. I shouldn't have corrected it, but... It is what it is. Okay. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. It was hot, as Coach said, 90 degrees at kickoff. Lad People Stadium is cool. It's historic. It's been the site of the Senior Bowl for many, many years. And it's really in its last season because South Alabama is going to move on to an on-campus stadium. No, it's an it's a up-and-coming program. And, uh, you know, you saw, you saw in their first couple games this year, uh, this was a team that could present a lot of different problems. What they did to Nebraska, um, you know, we knew that we had to come play with our A game. Uh, they came out with a little trickery to start off. Uh, JoJo Dorsey was a great play. I thought our defense was swarming. Uh, Coach Fuller and the defense staff had a great plan. 
playing, got a quick three and out. I thought uh, you know, our guys played with a lot of energy, uh, you know, coming back to you know, offensively. Uh, you know, we, we took a shot there on the first play, uh, kind of got restricted a little bit, but uh, it fell incomplete. Uh, came up a little bit short there on the third down, but uh, you know, obviously this was a, a complete team effort. Uh, your defense, you know, the defensive front was dominant. Getting uh, O'Brien Goodson back was big. Uh, Sanchez, you know, Sanchez Blake coming up, he's really had a, had a great start to the, the early part of this season. And then here we go with uh, Kenny Gainwell. Nice blocking up front, got a seam. Uh, what I like to see is Kenny, you know, this is a 70 something yard run. You got Pop Williams out there in front of him. Trying to trying to spring a block, uh, you know our guys uh, our guys were playing with a lot of confidence. Um, you know, like we knew the, that would be a challenge up front. Uh, Scotty Dill pulling up, uh, getting a big block at a linebacker, and Kenny find the end zone. So you you got really both on that. You got a chunk play, then you actually held the ball for a little bit. Kenny Gainwell, when he smells that end zone, he knows what to do. And uh, you just decide you're going to keep pounding. Yeah, you know, Kyle Watkins getting in. Uh, you know, had a had a really nice game. Uh, you know, there yesterday. Uh, you know, let's go back to the uh, Austin Hall with the big play. You know, I thought Austin played at a very high level. He showed up at multiple times throughout the game. I mean, our guys, uh, they really were playing with a lot of effort. Uh, it, was, it was unfortunate for the, for their running back uh, Trey Minter. He's one of the best in the country. Uh, you know, he went down I think with a concussion. Uh, but our guys, yep. you know, they were they were swarming to the ball. Carlito uh, Gonzalez was just a beautiful clean tackle yeah and that's something with uh, with those guys you know Carlito's been been really developing coming on um, you know to see him get in there and make a big play uh, unfortunately their pop went down mm -hmm. but uh, you know, we're hopeful that uh, that he's gonna have a quick recovery on that and here's your mid-south Chevy dealers drive of the game and it starts with Kenny Gamewell but everybody gets involved in this one here comes a beautiful pass in stride to Coxy. Yeah, you know, we've been able to mix up the run in the past. I thought our guys did a nice job. And then here's a guy I really want to highlight. Antonio Gibson has come on in these first three games as, as a guy that is a key playmaker for us. Uh, we're going to continue to, to enhance what he's doing for us. Uh, I think he's he's really uh, shining in all spots. And then how about the catch by Kylan Watkins? Uh, you know, third down conversion there in the end zone was just such a big play. Really proud of that young man. He said he's been working on his hands. You saw it right there. That was a beautiful layup, too. Yeah, I'd, was I'd a, give yeah. that a 9.9. <laughs> Right, That's absolutely. That was a great play. And then uh, here's uh, Everett Cunningham, a guy that we talked a lot yeah. about here in the offseason. Uh, great addition. You're getting his first uh, uh, sack as a Tiger. And then uh, you're getting the ball back on the ground. Kenny making one guy miss. Another big gain of over 30 yards. Uh, I, I really like seeing our guys you know, take control of this game on the ground. Travion Samuel, you know, trying to get a lot of different people involved. Good blocking downfield. Uh, Trey, is, I thought, had his best game here uh, in the early part of the season. Starting to gain a lot more confidence. But then this one of those unfortunate plays. Uh, missed, missed the ball a little high. Uh, Coxie, you know, uh, uh, usually comes down with the, with that, but uh, your ball got tipped up, and you have to give credit to their kid. They made a great play, but our defense came to answer. And then, you know, here with another huge run, Kylan Watkins right down the pipe. Uh, this was a great play. I uh, think it was a 72 or 74 yard gain. Uh, you know, Kylan is uh, just really coming along for us. You guys tell me. You love his vision and lateral moves, and you saw it on that. Oh, uh, no question. And then you know, here's being able to finish it. We had a fourth down, uh, fourth down attempt. Uh, you know, hit the shovel pass again uh, there to uh, Kadarian Jones getting in the end zone. It was a great play. And then here's the takeaway. That, you know, this is something that we've really been talking about, playing with effort, with passion. Uh, our defense creating the takeaway there and then finishing up the half with How about the field goal. Preston Brady getting that ball down. Yeah, that was a high snap. It was. I thought Preston's done a great job for us, uh, you know, in, in every phase. But uh, you know, it, was, it was good to see our guys finish the half that way. All right, you wanted to run the ball, 245 yards on the ground. You wanted to stop their run. You did only 93 total yards. That's domination. Yeah, our guys came out ready to play, and that was something that we knew we wanted to start fast. Uh, still, some things that we had to clean up, some mistakes that, that were made. But uh, I really liked the way our, our team approached this game. Uh, you know, there was it was all all focus, all about us, and we got off to a great start. No doubt about it. You're going to get off to a great finish too. Stick around for that. Second half highlights coming your way in just a minute.
You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. So when you dominate a first half like the Tigers did, what's your message in the locker room? We want to continue to keep keep playing, keep progressing. We want to have a clean second half. Uh, we had to go out and finish. And there's a lot of times that you see teams that jump out to an early lead and then kind of let off the gas a little bit. We wanted to, we wanted to continue to, to push. I uh, wanted to see a fast start by, by our offense. We knew we were going to get the football, and uh, we were able to do that. Not the prettiest play I've ever seen, but uh, you know, Ooh. great effort by Joey Magnifico. Uh, the, 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 your ball was tipped by their corner, but fell right into Joey's hand, hands, and then we were able to finish the ball here in the end zone with the young man I was talking about earlier, uh, Antonio was, Gibson. An outstanding pass. That had zip, and I mean, he knew exactly where he wanted to put it. By the way, Joey's on the pace to become the all-time leading tight end in school history. How about Swamp Donkey there? Yeah, John Wilson getting the getting the uh, quarterback sacked first of the season. Oh, man, we had a close play there. Uh, Austin Hall got, got his hands on the, the pass breakup. Um, you know, really plays, like I said, with how he's playing. Uh, you are, the great thing about it is as you're watching their offense, you see so many white jerseys flying into the picture. Here's, you know, our guys are, are swarming, playing with great energy, uh, really trying to go and attack. And Trayvon Samuel then coming back with uh, Kylan Watkins with a good run there on the third down. And then, you know, here's another big run uh, by Kylan. Great job running his track. You know, was able to fall into the front side there. Uh, nice little spin move at the end. And, it looked like Tony Pollard on that spin move. Well, uh, I tell you, I thought, I thought, uh, I thought Ty Kylan is, uh, you know, he's got a young man with a lot of talent, uh, you know, really thrust into a bigger role with Patrick being down. And, uh, you know, he's answering the call. Two 100-yard rushing performances for your offense. That is outstanding, and then a defense that swarms. Yeah, you look at play by JoJo Dorsey here. I thought that was one of the one of the better plays of the day. It uh, just shows great effort. You know, uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, our guys were playing at a very high level. Um, you know, here, you know, TJ Carter. You know, we got called for the unsportsmanlike. Uh, I, I was a little animated on this one just because I, you know, I wanted I wanted to hear a whistle if the, if the momentum was stopped, but. At the end of the day, uh, you know, our guys are playing hard. Uh, you know, we, we, we're going to play the game the right way, but I thought our defense swarmed, and then here to get the fourth mm -hmm. down stop, great play by Q. Great job getting pressure on the quarterback. It was uh, an impressive end of that series. And then right back to work, Brady. That time, felt the heat, got out of trouble, and throws the strike. Yeah, you know, we're, we're doing a good job on third down. I think we're, we're just under 50% uh, on third downs for the game. Uh, Brady extending the play, you know, here pushing the ball down the field. You know, you know, obviously, this is something we work a ton at. Uh, giving, giving Coxie an opportunity to go up and high point the ball, I thought this was a, a, a great job by them. By those two, and then uh, you know you're trying to get, trying to mix it up, getting inside the ten. It's one of the things that we we're going to uh, continue to work on, have to continue to improve. Uh, you know, we got down in the ten a couple times, had to settle for field goals, uh, but you know at the end of the day we're six to six in the red zone. But we want to we want to make sure we're ending, ending in the end zone. Uh, but Riley and did a great job of uh, finishing each drive. So they uh, they will make a switch at quarterback. And a great play there by Joey Bryant. You know, getting the ball out, and there's Austin Hall. I know I touched mm. on him earlier. Uh, Austin's uh, you know, getting off to a great start to his senior year. Uh, you know, it's always good when you get to see those defensive guys find the end zone, and uh, that's a great effort play uh, by all involved, and you know, really proud for those, for those guys. Always love a scoop and score. He actually had one on a missed extra point too that was something else that went 98 yards yeah no i, I tell you that you know that's these guys they're, they're playing extremely hard this is the one the, the one hiccup we had a missed tackle there um you know obviously you have to give credit to those guys they executed at a high level um but uh you know we want to we want to be able to get that guy down to play another play um you know then we we're able to get a lot of young guys here here you see rodriguez clark coming in uh you know getting some good work connor adair uh you connor done an exceptional job we put him in you know in each game he's went out there and been extremely efficient nice third down conversion there um, you know we wanted to see some guys you know, get some work there's Tim Taylor thought had a couple nice runs some good blocking and then oh, what a play by Zay Collins all right I mean you know, being able to get pressure on the quarterback uh, you had to get the ball out quick and Zay with an outstanding play on the wheel route uh, with the interception all I can say is so many playmakers on both sides of the ball a lot of fun 42 to 6 these numbers will show you that Memphis can do it so many different ways 312 rushing yards 218 through the air by the way I've counted over 13 different receivers have caught passes already this year you force three turnovers 
it was, as we said earlier, domination on both sides of the ball. Brady's numbers, 209 yards, two 100-yard rushers. Austin Hall did it all, even the scoop and the score. Well, I tell you, I thought it was a complete team effort. You know, when every phase showed up at, at, at different times, you know, I thought our, our punting unit, Adam Williams, I got to give a shout out to him. I think he had mm -hmm. averaged 48 yards a, a punt yesterday. I really did a nice job flipping the field when we had to punt, but it took that. You know, when you go on the road, it's going to take a complete team effort. Uh, our guys played at a high level, and I do believe we dominated that game. No doubt about it. We got a little inside access coming your way in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. I'm sure he's counting up the time. I think it's a standard we hold ourselves to. And um, it's a lot of unfinished business because we ain't get the job done yet. So this year we, um, we're ready to go again and we're looking forward to a lot of success. It's definitely in the back of everybody's mind. Uh, what can we do to get over that hump? But uh, they preach the little things in here. And so I think if we just keep doing the little things that's showing up, looking at your playbook a little longer, I mean, we're going to do something to get over that hump. So We know we just have to hone in and, and focus in on, on, on the now, uh, be in the moment, um, and, and, and not look ahead. Uh, and that will help us win games. We just feel like we got a whole bunch of unfinished business. You know, we've been there, uh, not made it, been there, not made it. So this time, like, it's like we ain't got no option, you know. We got to take care of business, so I think that's why we all just coming together so close now. We, we all realizing that it, it, we got to get it, it's now or not. We've been up in games and fallen short, and you got to be able to finish. You got to be able to play four quarters, so it um, doesn't matter if you're up or down. That's what's great about football. You get another play and another play, another quarter. Um, so making sure that we just take it play by play, week by week and we got to finish this thing out. Obviously, you got to stay healthy, but um, I know we have the capability to do it. Five thirty-seven. Okay. Okay. Huh? Start it and then I'll finish it after doing Perfect. Then I may ask you a follow-up because we got. Okay. If you want to, you can. Okay. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Time for a little inside access. And when you are on a run like the Tigers are, and by the way, congratulations, coach. 29 wins now ties you with Chuck Stobart, sixth all-time winning as coach. But you know what that means? It means expectations. And the Tigers have to know how to deal with that, and they do. I think it's a standard we hold ourselves to. And um, it's a lot of unfinished business because we ain't get the job done yet. So... This year, we, um, we're ready to go again, and we're looking forward to a lot of success. It's definitely in the back of everybody's mind. Uh, what can we do to get over that hump? But uh, they preach the little things in here. And so I think if we just keep doing the little things that's showing up, looking at your playbook a little longer, I mean, we're going to do something to get over that hump. So We know we just have to hone in and, and focus in on, on, on the now, uh, be in the moment. Um, and, and, and not look ahead, uh, and that will help us win games. We just feel like, 
we got a whole bunch of unfinished business. You know, we've been there, uh, not made it, been there, not made it. So this time, like, it's like we ain't got no option, you know. We got to take care of business. So I think that's why we all just coming together so close now. We, we all realizing that it, it, we got to get it it's now or not. We've been up in games and fallen short, and you got to be able to finish. You got to be able to play four quarters. So it um, doesn't matter if you're up or down. And that's what's great about football. You get another play and another play, another quarter. Um, so making sure that we just take it play by play, week by week, and we got to finish this thing out. Obviously, you got to stay healthy, but um, I know we have the capability to do it. You know, this is one of the biggest things we've been focusing on throughout the off season is, you know, trying to be the best version of ourselves each and every day. Uh, that continued growth, continued improvement. You know, going into year four, the culture has been established, but yeah. there's been some places where we've come up a little short. And I think at times we've got so carried away with what we're trying to do three steps from now. You've got to focus on the moment, each play, every rep, you know, you know, putting the best version of yourself out there and don't get caught up with what the scoreboard says. Stay focused on, on, on the play that's in front of you. And if you do that, then you have a chance to put yourself in a position to be successful and that message I think well received every player all I said was we just want to be 4 and oh well we'll talk about how you get there the Navy's coming to town the AutoZone road ahead is next